My name is Judy Bunting, and welcome to Manor Farm with our special guest, Lady Maxine. <laughs> okay, Maxine, we're going to the organic farm here in, well, it's officially Leicestershire, um, but it's on the Derbyshire border. You looking forward to it? Absolutely, as long as I haven't got to kill anything. <laughs> Let's go and find you a cow. Okay, okay. Now, here we are approaching the Manor Farm Shop Organic. Okay, we're now inside the organic farm shop. Maxine, what's in your your basket there? A bit of, a bit of fruit and veg. What do you think compared to regular supermarkets? It's got, it looks a lot nicer. The fruit and vegetables look a lot healthier. They look more organic. Fresh. Okay, now behind your shoulder there is also a selection of bread, cakes, croissants and things. Very tempting, isn't it? Very okay, so you'll have to remember not to walk past that part when you come here again. What do you think to all the meat? It looks very... I'm glad I'm not a vegan. Okay, and what was that thing that we found over the other side? It was like a spaceship, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll go, I don't know what it is. I will zoom in over your shoulder and show our audience exactly what we were looking at. Um, and we'll go over and have a closer look to find out what it was. Well done, Maxine. Thank you very much. Right, now the mystery vegetable that Maxine found is actually called a custard white. Um, and apparently you can chop it up and then fry it or roast it and apparently it's meant to be quite tasteless but quite nutritious as well. Okay now down here on the farm we have a couple of goats which seem to be quite hot in the sun I think today. Okay now over here we have a couple of geese and running <laughs> towards us are some very fat turkeys. They look very nice. Come on, turkey, turkey, turkey. Get eating, ready for Christmas. <laughs> okay, now the farm is over that side of the road, and this is where the animals live, over here. We've just got some horses. I didn't really see much horse meat. <laughs> um, obviously, they use them to get to the sheep, which are all the way over there. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's lots of sheep over there roaming the fields, and apparently the cows are around here somewhere. That's it from me and Maxine here at the farm. We're now off home to find out what we've bought. My name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to the Manor Farm Organic Shop with Maxine. <laughs> okay, instead of me being crazy, sat at home doing my shopping, I've taken Maxine out today and I'm going to show you now all the products we bought. Okay, let's start with the protein. First of all, Okay, we've got three pork chops here for £4.62. Eight slices of bacon, um, we've got two lots here at £4.92 each. There's a two huge beef steaks, um, and that's £9.61 for those two. Um, we've got two big legs of chicken, they're £10.20, which is quite expensive for chicken, um, but they are quite big and I'm quite looking forward to having those. Two bags of sausages, approximately £5 each. In there, there is eight thin sausages, and finally, I've scoured and scoured all the supermarkets and I've never found it. It's here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, organic lamb's liver. They also had organic chicken's liver. Um, if you're making pate, apparently chicken's meant to be better and if you're having it on its own, more flavoursome, is the lamb's liver. Okay, finally on the proteins, we have some organic eggs. These were, let me just check the price, it's one pound, I think it's about one pound sixty something, so a lot cheaper than the supermarkets. And then we have a little bag of nuts, they were quite expensive at this farm shop, obviously because they don't produce them there. And um, we've got some cashew nuts there, of course, organic. Okay, moving on to the carbohydrates. First of all, the bargain of the day was definitely this huge bag of spinach, 80 pence for that massive bag. Um, obviously unwashed, um, and let me just show you, very freestyle, you know, you can see this has been hand-picked from the farm, so that's a, or nearby the farm, so that's very good. I'm looking forward to having that with my meaty breakfast. Um, a bag of mushrooms, and again, just look at the, the rawness of them. You can tell they've been picked locally. 
Um, and then the unlocal things, Yo Valley Organic Butter, um, some Farmhouse Red Leicester cheese. Kind of, although it's called Red Leicester, maybe it is made locally, which is obviously a good thing. Um, and then some luxury extra thick cream, which I'm looking forward to having with some apples. Um, and then we did buy, they didn't have any um, quality organic honey, so I have bought some Greek style yogurt with honey already in it. Um, and then finally, with the carbohydrates, we had some apple two big bags of apples um, and they're about two pounds for those so each bag of about four or five in there so again that's cheaper than supermarket price um, organic um, peanut butter one pound 85 and then three pounds 19 quite expensive but I'm quite looking forward to this organic cashew nut butter um, spread on some um, vegetables so it'll be nice with some raw cauliflower now me and Maxine have had a treat as well haven't we Maxine yeah. Um, now it was my idea, so I'm not going to let Maxine bully me into this, and I apologise now to Billy, um, but this is our big shop, and then our one treat is some beautiful organic flapjack. Now in the shop, in the farm shop, there was a bakery, um, we couldn't really find any rye bread. Did you see any rye bread no, at all, Maxine? No. There was definitely no rye bread. Um, so our little treat of the week is this organic flapjack, um, and it really does look beautiful. It's one pound forty-eight. Um, um, I'm really quite excited about trying that. Um, and as you can see, here is the the Manor Farm shop and bakery who won their organic awards in the year 2000 so all the products on this table came to 58 pounds um, and this will be divided now between me and Maxine we look forward to having a good shop Maxine are you looking forward to chomping on your steaks Absolutely, yes. I we didn't find the cows does that upset you I think Adrian's going to be disappointed when we don't come home with a cow, though. <laughs> Adrian's always disappointed. You know? <laughs> He's got his middle name's disappointed. I'll tell him we've got some beans instead. We swap the cow for some magic beans. <laughs> <laughs> he can go and grow himself a stall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Maxine. We're now going to pack this and get off home with our wonderful organic shop.